Hey, you amazing, crazy artists. Today, what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna go ahead and give you a demonstration on using some oil pastels for the eye. Now, I went ahead and did a little research on my lizard, dragon eyes. I found this one. I thought this one was kind of cool. Um, it has a little bit of a lime green around here, and it's kind of an orangish yellow inside here. Some pretty cool colors. I mean, they worked out really well. It's actually kind of a purplish blue in through here. Um, so I thought, hey, that would actually work pretty good. So I'm going to kind of stick to these colors. You can always change them a little bit, but for the most part, I'm going to stick to this. Um, and I actually have this on my computer screen too as I'm recording this. So that should actually work pretty well. So when you get started with this, you guys, um, put this in your sketchbook as well. It doesn't have to be terribly large. In fact, I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller here. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of sketch out the shape of the eye. Now the main focus is the eye, okay? You've got a lot of different values in through here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of get a little bit of a point right through here. I'm gonna kind of round this off here. That's that kind of darker region right through there. Also, too, it's not a bad idea. If you ever notice this, a lot of, a lot of uh, lizards, snakes, they draw dragons. Of course, some people think they're real, but not Mr. Carlson. All right, they have like this little kind of ridge that goes around here, all right? And then they almost have like these little kind of scale shapes. All right, I guess it's kind of a little texture shape that kind of goes around like this, okay? And this is kind of a fun thing too. You can go ahead and kind of practice a little bit more of your scales on through here as well. If you wanted to add a little bit more up and through here, you can. Let's have kind of like little some round ones. You don't have to. I just rather see you kind of add something around the edge here and then deal with the eye itself. I mean, that's kind of the main point with this, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and kind of add this and through here. When you draw scales, sometimes it's not a bad idea to draw individual scales. Sometimes people like to go in here and, and they'll do that. I'll show you this on the other side if I can. All right, they'll go in, they'll, they'll kind of draw them, and then they'll do lines across like that. And they'll almost make it look like a little bit of a checkerboard. I don't even know if you can see that. All right, they'll do that. Because you don't want to do that. You want to draw individual scales. So when you draw these out on through here, okay, you want to make sure that you can see them. Now, sorry, guys, I'm drawing a little bit light. I got to make sure I draw a little bit darker here, too. I can kind of see that. So I'll kind of darken this up a little bit. Um, you know that, too, when you draw this, you don't want to draw it as light. All right, kind of did this with the scales too, darn it all. Okay, so I've got that. Now, the next thing is I want to get this eyeball in here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, put in the pupil in through here. There we go, got that. All right, looks like you got a little bit of a, of a line right in through here. I'm not really sure what this is, but we're going to go ahead, we're going to leave that in there for now. And I do have a little reflection. I don't know if you can see it. I can see it actually in my, my color picture pretty well. It's about right here. That's going to be white, okay? I want to make sure I get no color in those areas because I want those to be left pure white. All right, so got the shapes down next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and start adding some of my colors now one thing I didn't really address too much on this last video is you know typically you probably should start with your lighter colors okay I would say with your yellow if you got if you do have a white area it's probably not a bad idea to kind of start with that maybe put a little bit of the white in there that way too you know what this white pastel is basically kind of taking that spot all right and it, it, it's it, you won't have to have a white that's affected by any other color. So it's not a bad idea to get that in. And then of course yellow. Yellow is such a light color. So it's probably not a bad idea to kind of go in here and kind of add a little bit of white. Now once again, got a little bit of a, some junk on there. I'm going to get that cleaned off here. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of add a little bit of this and through here. And that's one thing too with these whole darn pencil lines. I can still see them a little bit. But you know what? It doesn't matter if you get your yellow towards the side here where it's a little bit darker because that darker color is going to cover it up a little bit. Now, one other thing I'm seeing here, too, guys, is that the yellow for this eye isn't as intense as the yellow I have here, okay? What do I mean by that? I mean, this, this yellow, holy cow, it's just popping right off the paper. So what I can do is I can either do a couple things here. I can go ahead and kind of tone it down with a little bit of white. All right, try to get a little bit of white off of here. Boy, it's really slick. I must have got quite a bit of yellow on here. All right, I could go ahead and do this. Also, too, you guys, it looks like I might have a little bit of orange. Just kind of throw a little bit of orange in through here too, just right over the top. Just use your finger. Oh boy! Just use your finger to kind of blend some of this in. What's kind of fun too is you can actually create kind of a fun little texture with the finger as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of add a little bit in through here. All right, looks good right through there. All right. Yeah, I'm surprised the white's. Oh, God, I'll darn it all. I'm surprised the white is not as. There it goes. Oh boy, I guess I've got to really press down for that white. So that looks pretty good. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of finish off a little bit more and through here. Let's see what we got. All right, once again, gotta clean off some of that yellow, boy. It's, oh boy, ah, oh, see, got a little bit of green. Sometimes you can take your fingernail on the paper, you can kind of lift it off, 
Let's see if I can get that green off there. There we go. All right, get a little bit more yellow showing up here. I'm just going to take all that off. There we go. All right. Okay. And I might. I might have to use my little trick of using a little bit of white over that as well, just to kind of cover that up. <laughs> One thing you're going to find out with oil pastels, and this is why <laughs> they're not Mr. Carlson's favorite, is that sometimes they're not very forgiving. All right, meaning that once you make a little bit of a, a faux pas, if you will, a little mistake, like Bob Ross always says, happy little accidents, sometimes it's not very happy, all right? And you don't want it to be that way. But you know, you never know, because this, look at this, actually, this isn't too bad, all right? You know, look at that white covers that are, oh, that's nice. I like this, okay? All right, add a little bit of that through there. Now, got a good chunk of this done. Okay, um, I'm actually going to take some of this orange and bring this orange kind of down and through the side here as well, because it does. It gets the yellow gets kind of a little bit of a darker kind of color down through here. I'm just going to kind of blend this up a little bit. But then, what I want to do is I want to add a little bit more of, I would say, gosh, try a little bit of this blue. I could try a little bit of the blue and black might actually be pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and take a little bit of the blue here. I'm going to go ahead and kind of throw in that little bit in the corner here. Now, unfortunately, it's probably going to go ahead and blend in with my orange to make a nice green, but that's what I'm doing. I'm taking a little bit, or yellow, I mean. I'm gonna take a little bit of this orange, and what's gonna do is kinda of turn it into kind of a brownish color. Compliments, when you mix them together, guys, they do kinda of create a little brown. All right, and that's all right. I wanna go ahead and leave this in through. That actually looks really good. Kinda of frames it off a little bit, but that's really nice. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and kinda of do the same thing down here. All right, once again, I've already got some orange down here, so kind of it's automatically just going to mix in. Just blend this in really good. Add a little bit more blue up and through here. You know, I'm going to add a little bit of red on here, too. I'm a big sucker for purple. I always like purples for my shadows. Okay, now, if you really wanted to as well, I could go in here and add, a little, once again, a little bit of black. You know, Mr. Carlson in black, eh, not the greatest. But you know what? That's not too bad. You know, the only thing I really like black for is for the center part here. Okay, and that is going in here. Add a little bit of black. I can go ahead and do this because I got well most of the yellow done on the outside. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of add a little bit of the black in through here. Um, looks like I have, you know what? Honestly, it looks like I have a little bit of a lighter kind of blue highlight. Look, now some paying attention. There's just a few little details here, up in this corner. It looks pretty good there. Okay. So what I think I'm gonna do right now is this, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and pause this real quick, and I'm just gonna show you a little bit of the, the after effects of this. This video is getting just a little long. All right, everybody. Uh, spent a little bit more time working on it. Mostly got the the eyeball itself done. Then I started working a little bit on the, on the, the skin and the scales that are around the, the outside of this. One thing that I thought was kind of fun too, guys, is I went ahead and I added a little bit of my, my blue mixed in with my orange, a little bit of black as well. But what I started doing is I started kind of, I started playing around with this. It's not necessarily on the eye itself, but I noticed that if I took my finger and just kind of brought it in a little bit, kind of gave it just a little bit of kind of a, a little fun texture that kind of exists in through the eye as well. So that's, you know, these are like those little things that you, you may not have known about or that you never really knew could, could happen with the material you're working with until you have those, once again, maybe a happy little accident. Huh. Uh, who knows? All right. So, you guys, I think right now I'm just going to go ahead and stop it right there. You guys hopefully get the gist of this. I'm really liking my eye. I think it looks pretty good. Um, made a little bit of a mess, but, you know, welcome to the world of oil pastels. All right. Good luck, everybody. We can't wait to see what you create. Thanks for being part of our video.